Welcome back to my channel. I just got thrown out of an artist residency. No, I did not go in naked. I did not do drugs or set them on fire. I didn't do any of this inappropriate things. At least that's what I thought. And I will tell the story. Perhaps you can give me a second opinion and let me know if I have done anything wrong or you know what should I have reacted otherwise. So I decided to visit Gasa de Velasquez. It is one of the oldest, I think if it's not the oldest artist residency in Spain. It was founded in 1920 and then started operating a few years after and it's uh, hosting artists and giving very generous stipends to French speaking artists uh, because their interview, it is taking place in French language in Paris. So you do need to understand French to go through this interview. And it's uh, founded by the French Minister of Culture. And it's uh, beautiful, it's not far from where I live. So I thought I would just go and have a visit. And right now there is an exhibition of their alumni. Usually they host exhibitions to the public of their past students or current students, which is fine, why not? So I went to the door and I saw there's just a big metallic door and there's a little button. I ring this button and someone inside told us, so tell me, you know, state your business, what you want. And I was like, oh, I want to come and see this exhibition. And he was like, okay, come in. And then I came in and then he showed me there are like the, the old palace, there's a garden in the middle, there's a left wing and right wing. And he told, you can go to the left wing and right wing to see the exhibition, but you cannot go upstairs. Obviously, there could be artists upstairs doing their works or sleeping, resting. It's the siesta time. I understand. No problem. I will not go upstairs, I said. And then uh, I asked, could I take photos? Obviously, I don't want to offend them. If photos were not permitted, I would not have taken any photos. And he said, you could take photos as you like. However, you cannot take photos outside to the other side because it's a governmental organization that is, has some political sensibility, you cannot do that. I was like, okay, no problem. You told me not to, I will not. And he said, you can go a few stairs down and take backward the photo of De La Gaza, De Velasquez. It is uh, this beautiful uh, like back porch you would see on their website, on their social media. Also on Google map, a lot of people have taken that shot and published on their reviews and it's obviously something everybody does and it's like why not you go to the forbidden city you take a photo of the Tiananmen Square which is like the typical thing that visitors and tourists do so I said no problem I will do that I'll make sure that I don't go upstairs I will not take photos to the other side and uh, he said uh, additionally you cannot go to the gardens so on the back there's this set of stairs and then there's the garden and then further there's another set of stairs that are going down and then I saw the exhibition, there are artworks, uh, more artworks, and there's a little video. And I think it's like a documentary of the creative process of the artists in residence. After that, I went down the stairs, a few stairs down, and then I took photo of this classical picture of Casa de Velasquez. And I was just walking upstairs to, to go out. And this guy went furious running after me. And he was like, I told you not to go to the garden. I was like, no, I didn't enter the garden. And he's like, I told you not to take photos of the other side. I was like, no, I didn't. If you want to see, here's my mobile. You can delete any photos you don't like. And he was like, you are a liar. I saw you taking photos. I was like, it didn't happen. You can see on my mobile, it, there is not such photos that you said that you, I shouldn't take. I didn't take them. And he was like, I saw you. And he started mumbling some words I didn't understand. At first, I didn't quite understand like why he was uh, furious against me. Obviously those photos had been taken exactly where I was by other people published on Google. It was not been uh, asked to re remove and it's something that everybody does. And suddenly when I did it, uh, he was furious against me. So I was wondering what was the reason. And then suddenly I realized that when I was writing down my details, like the names, the family names, and this is a required information to enter to the Casa de Velasquez. When I was writing down my details, he asked me if I was Japanese and I said I was Chinese. And then he was like, ah, I perhaps he was disappointed and perhaps he thought the Chinese um, people were spies spying on their government. I'm not even sure who is his government because he's working for a French entity in Spain. And uh, from his language, I knew that he was Spanish because he only spoke Castellano, Spanish. I spoke the language enough to understand what he was trying to say, but his indications were so um, like rough 
that was so uh, not so indicative when he told me I could descend to the stairs to take photos backward. This is what I did. He actually meant that I could descend to the first stairs, but not further down. Perhaps this is what he meant, or perhaps that he was against the Chinese, like personally or impersonally. Obviously, he didn't explain clear enough. But then I thought, wait a second, if this is a really serious matter for you, for the workers, then you could do a few things. Number one, you could have a guy standing there and telling people where they should go or where they shouldn't go, which is a typical thing in China. A lot of people visit uh, like places of interest. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of people, even millions of people in the Forbidden City, in the Great Wall, and there are people uh, going everywhere and they go into the places that they shouldn't go. You always have someone there telling people, okay, go this way, please, sir. Go this way, please, madam, which is totally normal. Uh, or you should paint a line saying that, okay, there's a stop line, there's a red line. If you see the red line, stop there. Fair enough. Or you could put like a plastic band on the trees because there's the garden. There's like a clearly, there's a, like an edge, there's a bushes. You could put like a plastic band saying, this is the garden, stop here. Or you could have um, some kind of sensor that you go close to the garden or close to the places you shouldn't go. There's a sensor telling beep beep like you shouldn't go. Fair enough. Or there are something that we have invented for hundreds of thousands of years. It's called doors. You could actually put doors. I mean, obviously they put uh, doors and fences everywhere outside and they put it everywhere inside. They could use the doors to indicate that there is a lock, there is a door, you shouldn't go under um, after this door. Fair enough, this is also very clear. Like there are many ways to indicate where you can go, where you cannot go by putting your finger over there, like, oh, you can go there, but not there. Like, it's not very indicative. It's not very clear. And he felt at doing his job, and now he was very furious against me, calling me liars. He started mumbling around like uh, aggressive things. I was uh, very focused on looking at the photos I took, trying to show him the photos from the perspective where I was to show that I didn't go to the places that he didn't want me to go. Anyway, it's not important. He aggressively showed me the door, like, you know, you, you go out immediately. Well, that was my intention. I was already going out by the time that he came. Um, I really don't understand why he needed to do that. Obviously, I was leaving anyway, as he could see that if he claimed that he was monitoring me on the cameras, he was clearly seeing that I was going out of the gates, out of the door, out of his way. He could very well check my phone. I was giving him my phone. He didn't want to check the phone. I really don't know what was his problem. And perhaps he just hated his job. He didn't want to work for the French institution. Trust me, if I were him, I wouldn't want to work there anyway. Like uh, the job is obviously stressful because uh, the whole building was just him. He had to take care of several things. He had to perhaps be there on a Sunday, uh, Saturday. Today's a Saturday. Perhaps didn't have many holidays. I don't know. Maybe he was underpaid. I really don't know what was his problem. But obviously, there's a, a managerial problem, there's a workflow problem, there's a user, like UX problem. The only good thing that I heard about Gasset de Velasquez is that they paid the artists to come um, and live there and do the works, which is probably the only thing that attracts it, the artists. Uh, after that, I don't have really good impression at all. Even after they have exhibition, I wouldn't want to go back. In case, if you are Chinese, Korean, Japanese, um, uh, people of color, or um, transgender, or homosexual, I recommend you to think twice before you come because they might harass you based on how you look, and they might ask you information that you are not comfortable giving out. Like, I was not really obligated to tell if I were Chinese or Japanese or what nationality because that was not a part of the uh, visitor's uh, formula that I had to fill. Although that it could be just a uh, friendly gesture out of curiosity, harmless questions. Anyway, so that was my day and uh, that made me feel like I didn't miss France at all. I was so happy that I left France and no, I do not want to go back ever again. That's all for today. Let me know if how would you have reacted or if you think that I have done anything wrong. And um, that's it. Thank you. See you.